So guys, I just got ready. Um, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of smoothies or a smoothie bowl for breakfast. I actually start uh, drinking, eating a different kind of smoothie lately. And I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. Chia seeds, cacao nibs for like a chocolate flavor, some frozen mixed berries, one banana to make the smoothie a little sweet, and a raw beet. I always love to combine vegetables and fruits into a smoothie because otherwise if it's just fruit, it's just like a really big sugar rush. And having a smoothie with, um, with vegetables is a very easy way to get your veggie intake. And also, um, yeah, you can eat a lot and you absorb the nutrients very well. So I'm gonna start with cutting up the, uh, the beet. I have a cup to mix my smoothie in and I have the raw beet, so I'm gonna add these in here. Just immediately wash your hands after you cut them because otherwise the red is gonna stay on your hands. And obviously the riper the banana, the more sweet your smoothie is, so the more tastier. Then I'm going to add the frozen mixed fruit. I personally love to use frozen fruits just because your smoothie is a little bit more cold and I find that very tasty. I'm always trying to put superfruits in my smoothie, it's such an easy way to get them. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of chia seed and the rest I'm going to use for the topping. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of cacao nibs. Who doesn't love some chocolate for breakfast? Then I'm going to add one cup of oat milk. Of course you can use any other like plant milk, like almond milk, cashew milk but I find oat milk the sweetest. So we're going to put this up and then we're gonna mix it up. Okay, as you can see, this smoothie has an incredible, incredible color. The red fruits have a lot of antioxidants and obviously the chia seed has like omega-3 in there. So I'm going to use a little bit of toppings Nibs. And here's some coconut chips. Ta-da! My smoothie bowl is ready to serve. Um, the great thing is you can also just have this in your cup and like take it to go if you're going to work or if you're going to a workout or anything. Um, I'm going to make my favorite oatmeal cappuccino and then I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. This is normally how I like to start my day. I check my emails, have my breakfast, have my morning coffee. So. Okay guys, I will see you at lunch again. So guys, it is 1 p.m. and that means it's almost lunchtime. I'm already hungry. I'm going to make a spinach lentil pumpkin salad and honestly this is the reason why I'm kind of excited for fall not because of the weather but because it's squash and pumpkin season I love pumpkin um, so I can't wait to start making this recipe like a lot the pumpkin you can actually do uh, very often during meal prep I like to make it in advance because it needs to go in the oven for like 30-40 minutes also um, Keep in mind that if you make the lentils, soak them before, your body will absorb more nutrients than uh, when you not soak them and they will cook a little bit faster, so it makes it a little bit easier. So I have spinach, then I have um, some fresh herbs, I'm going to use avocado for healthy fats, um, an egg for protein and uh, I'm going to make a dressing with Greek yogurt. And obviously this is optional. If you're vegan, you can also just use like an olive oil dressing. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to put on the oven. 
So this preheats in the, in the meantime, I'm going to prep this. Also, I'm going to cook the lentils now because that takes a little while and I'm gonna start cutting everything up. I'm gonna put this on a little fire. I'm going to add one cup of lentils, which is for two people. So I let this sit uh, for about 12 to 15 minutes. Normally lentils take about like 30, 40 minutes. It depends if you soak them um, or what kind of lentils you want. So now the worst part of cooking, waiting till the food is ready. Okay, so I'm going to cut two red onions and these are gonna go with the pumpkins into the grill and I'm just gonna cut them in half and spread the little rings. I'm going to roast the pumpkins. I already bought the pumpkins already like this. Um, just because I was a little bit in a hurry. Obviously you can also just buy a pumpkin and cut them yourself. So I'm going to put them on the baking plate. Then I'm going to add the red onions. I'm going to mix up everything. And I'm using some extra virgin olive oil. Salt. Some pepper. So this is some fresh thyme and this is fresh rosemary. Obviously if you don't have this fresh you can also just use it out of a little pot. This is the fresh thyme and then we're going to add the fresh rosemary. It smells already so good and just wait until the pumpkin is almost ready. Like when you make this in your home, like the whole, your whole apartment or house will smell like fresh pumpkin. So if this doesn't look gorgeous, then I don't know. Okay, I'm going to cook two eggs. Still after so many years and I really love eggs, I'm still not really sorry in poaching them. So I'm just gonna keep it practical and make a soft boiled and for some extra protein to the salad. Okay, we're gonna start with one cup of Greek yogurt and then we're going to add one tablespoon of cumin to give it some extra flavor. Then I'm gonna add one to two garlic cloves and this is a little trick to use your knife to crush it so it blends easier. Then I'm going to add half a lime I'm going to add salt and I'm going to add pepper and mix everything together then I'm going to use some fresh herbs I really feel this always gives like really nice flavor I'm going to use mint and some fresh coriander and I'm adding this to the dressing Okay, I prepped all my ingredients. I have some fresh arugula, I have like spinach, I have the lentils which are cooled down by now, and I have fresh pumpkin, my favorite. I'm gonna grab some fresh greens. This is the spinach. I'm just gonna do a mix of spinach and arugula. I like to have like a salad with like a lot of greens. Um, it keeps me longer full and it has a lot of fiber. Then I'm grabbing the lentils. Okay, then I'm going to add pumpkin with red onions. For some extra healthy, healthy fats. This is a perfect one. Cut it up like this. Then I'm going to add some roasted pumpkin seeds to dressing. And I'm going to add some fresh mint and fresh coriander for some extra flavor. There we go. And ta-da! Lunch is served. Delicious, healthy pumpkin salad. One of my favorites. 
easy to meal prep but also very easy to make at home um, if you guys are going to try this then let me know that as well i am going to grab a glass of water and i'm going to have some lunch Hey guys, we're gonna make some dinner and I've been making this recipe quite often lately and it has been like a su success, a success uh, quite often and we are going to make a mushroom cashew chickpea pasta which is a vegan dish and it's funny because a lot of people who start like a healthy lifestyle they're like oh my god I can never eat pizza, I can never eat pasta my answer to that is be creative the pasta I chose for today is made out of chickpeas and water, that's it. So it's full of fiber, uh, full of protein, so it's super healthy and it almost tastes the same. So you have to be creative with it, you can get the same results. I have about one cup of cashews, I soaked these already overnight. This makes it easier to uh, blend everything together. So one tablespoon of olive oil in here. One tablespoon of soy sauce, one small piece of garlic, vegetable stock, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon, and the onions. I'm going to fry them a little bit until they're a little soft and golden. I'm going to add this to the dressing, and I'm adding three quarter cup of water, and we're going to mix. Okay, we're gonna try the sauce. Mmm, so creamy, so good. Okay, um, the sauce is ready. We're going to uh, start with the pasta and with the mushrooms. Adding a little bit of onion. So now I'm going to add the two cloves of garlic. A little trick, if you see it gets very dry, just add a little bit of water to it. Mine are pretty good today. And then I'm also going to add some fresh, uh, fresh thyme to it. It smells pretty good. And then, salt Kobe, some salt. <laughs> I'm going to add the pasta for two, three minutes. And it's almost done. We're going to add the cashew cream to it. This is going to give the pasta like an amazing creamy texture and a very delicious taste. And I'm going to add some fresh parsley to this. Spinach, just to add a little bit more uh, more veggies, so the pasta is all smoothened up with the veggies with um, with the sauce, and it's like this really delicious creaminess. So I'm going to add this to a bowl. So I personally really really love truffle oil. If I'm in a restaurant and I see truffle on the menu, that's the first thing what I'm going for. And this for me just makes my pasta. And I'm just going to add this tiny, tiny drops on top of it. I'm adding some extra black pepper. I'm adding some parsley. And there you go. My dinner is ready for tonight. Super easy, super quick. Honestly, feel everyone will really love this. You can, oh wait, <laughs> I forgot my Parmesan cheese. <laughs> oh. This is a vegan version. If you do eat some cheese, I would highly recommend to put a tiny bit of Parmesan on here. So yeah, this is going to be my dinner. So delicious. So 
I'm all cozy on the couch. Um, I'm going to start my uh, my meal very soon. And I just kind of want to show you guys as well. Um, I told you that I have been using Lifesum, which is a nutrition focused um, focused app. And I use it a lot to track my macros. So really to understand, to know what I put inside of my body and if it's all balanced out. Especially because lately I've been eating much more like vegan and plant-based. Um, so it's good to take track on it. I'm going to show you guys. I already put everything into into the app. Um, there we go. So for example, here I put my breakfast in there, the smoothie which was on track. Then I had the lunch and it said here it was like 92 calories under. Um, and then my dinner was like a tiny bit over so that like balanced out. I got my water. And here I can even see the full, um, yeah, my full intake. How many carbs and how many fats I have. And here I see that only the fat is a little bit over, maybe a little bit much. <laughs> but you know, that is all okay. Um, I know then for tomorrow, maybe a little less fat, maybe more like a little more protein. Um, yeah, all balance this out. Also, don't forget to subscribe. This was my first food video in Amsterdam and it was so much fun to film over here um yeah and don't forget give it a big thumbs up if you like pasta as much as I do um I'm gonna enjoy my dinner right now have a good night <laughs>